Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So a lot of people are actually going back to school right now. I know it sucks, trust me. And a question I get asked like probably every September is how I managed to balance YouTube while going to college and I even had a job for like the first two years of that as well. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys like some of these other YouTubers who like pretend they have their days planned out like from the second they wake up to the second they go to sleep. If you've ever seen like a college day in the life, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, before the video does start, if you guys do end up enjoying the video and you guys wanna see more videos like it, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also turn notifications if you guys do wanna join the Noti gang comment below saying you did it and other than that let's get on with the video so the first thing that i want to actually say is that i know how much it sucks being in high school these days like what you go to class for like seven to eight hours a day somehow you have like 20 classes in that time frame and then after that you might have to like go play sports or go to like your job or whatever and then by the time you're home you're like way too tired to do anything now that i think about it, it's actually way harder in college because like you only go to class for like one to two hours right like a day maybe like three or four depending on your schedule but once you're done with like those two classes, you're drained for the rest of the day. I don't know how it's like that, but literally every time I went to college, even for like one hour, I'd come home and take like a four hour nap because it was that draining. But anyways, like trust me, I know how rough school can actually be these days. So the first thing that I really want to talk about because I feel like it's the foundation for really just balancing anything in life, but that's to schedule and prioritize. Um, obviously I don't know every situation at home who's like watching this video right now, but I'm sure some of you guys have jobs, some of you guys are probably student athletes, you probably have homework to do, you want to make YouTube videos, and you probably want to like hang out with friends and family and things like that, so without like actually taking a step back and kind of like prioritizing like what you want to do, you're probably going to get incredibly overwhelmed and just like break down. Honestly, just thinking about it right now, I feel like a lot of adults just don't understand how much harder it's actually getting for high school students and college students to just live a normal life. Like, we barely have time to breathe. Anyways, like, when it comes to prioritizing and scheduling, I'm not saying that you have to be like these YouTubers who go to all these really big schools like Harvard. Like, they wake up at, what, like 3 a.m., which is literally when I'm going to sleep. Then they go run, like, they go to, like, jog, like, 40 miles or whatever in 10 minutes. I don't know how. Then they come home, have coffee, read a book, and then go to class. Like, what? They give off this perception that they have, like, the perfect life, and this is the kind of life that you should be living. But I promise you, that's just not humane at all and you shouldn't feel pressured by that at all anyways all you really have to do is just discipline yourself like use the notes app on your phone right just something as simple as that or even like organizing your life in a notebook that's only dedicated to that kind of thing i personally like having a physical copy of a notebook instead of just using the notes app on my phone because i know for a fact that if it, if i open up my phone and go to the notes app i'm somehow gonna get distracted and end up on like twitter and instagram and discord and youtube or whatever right I personally get distracted very easily, so that's why I just use like this physical notebook, but it's really totally up to you. And again, I'm not saying like plan out your day by the minute or by the hour because most people who try that just realize right away that it's not practical and it's very hard to follow. So just write down all the things that you actually want to do before you like sit down for the day and like start relaxing or before you head off to bed and try prioritizing them too. So like write down the task and then right next to it, write down the number of importance it is. So like let's say you have five things on your list, right? write down numbers one through five of what's the most important and what's least important and then tackle those things one by one and then if you have something left over like at the end of the day just put that at the top of the list for the next day and then tackle it when you start the next day one thing i definitely want to get across in this video is that when you're setting priorities you will have to know that you're gonna to have to make a lot of sacrifices along the way success just literally equals sacrifice i think i said it before in like my last video on this exact topic but if you're not born into being successful and you become successful in one way or another then you probably sacrifice something you might not know exactly what you sacrificed but i can promise you you did sacrifice something i know that for myself some of the sacrifices that i actually made personally were like missing out on a lot of sleep missing hanging out with friends and even missed playing some games with them just so i could focus on my youtube channel in my free time after i was done with my schoolwork and my youtube work that's when i actually sit down and play games with my friends or even just like lay in bed and watch netflix but I just want to like get the point across to you guys that it's insanely hard for anyone to find success without making some sort of sacrifice along the way and that's just something I want you guys to remember. Also just know that YouTube success just doesn't happen overnight, like you're gonna have to keep working for it over time so it's not something that you can just put to the side and be like, okay I'll come back to my channel in a couple months and then just come back and expect everyone to still be there, like your viewers will find someone else to watch so if you want to take this seriously, you're gonna have to prioritize it in your list somewhere before you put like your other things that you'd like to do in your free time. Pick the things in life that matter most to you and then just go from there. So let's say for example, like you care more about YouTube than you do like your family and like your friends and like your job or whatever, right? I don't know what you're doing there, but let's say for example, that's exactly like your priorities. You should be uploading every single day with no complaints. You should, that like that should be your main priority. Like you should be able to record, edit and upload your video, get your, your thumbnail, your marketing, all that stuff done and then move on to the next thing. Only if YouTube is your first priority, and you should not complain about anything else after that. You should somehow find a way to upload every single day if YouTube is your first priority. Then you can start working on whatever else comes next in your priority list. But obviously I don't recommend putting YouTube first, like probably put like family first or whatever, but uh, it's totally up to you guys. <laughs> so for me personally, I think I said earlier on in the video that I actually put my schoolwork before like actually playing games with my friends and I think I put like YouTube work in the middle. 
um which is totally okay obviously like that's just how i prioritized it but come on i'm i'm human like i want to play games with my friends sometimes instead of just working right so what i would actually do to get around that was like let's say i'm playing like fortnite right and i just die in the game i'll put my keyboard to the side and if i have like a notebook i'll just keep making notes from like my classes or the lecture that i learned or whatever i learned in the lecture for that day right or like let's say i'm playing minecraft and i'm just waiting for a friend to come find me i'll alt tab i'll minimize the window and i'll just go back to microsoft word and like finish the essay that's due in two hours i was truly utilizing all the free time that i had available while still enjoying like whatever i was doing that's just a life life skill that i really recommend you guys work on having because i promise you it made my life so much easier i was actually able to enjoy playing games with my friends and whenever i was like finding free time in that time i would work on the other stuff that i had to do for that day too so i said essay due in two hours minimize the game work on it while i'm waiting for a friend then bring the game back up go back to playing simple as that and you guys can really do it you just got to work on it it takes some time but i promise you it's a really good life skill to have like multitasking once you can do that, a lot of people will want to hire you. And now these days, it's really so easy to get distracted with like something like our phones constantly buzzing in our hands. So just force yourself to do the work because I promise you, if you don't, someone else will and they're gonna take your spot. Like use that as motivation because at all times, there is someone out there who's working harder than you are right now. If you want to be able to balance doing a lot of things in your life, then you just have to be the person in the room who works harder than everyone else around them. So for example, like you could be watching Netflix in your room right now, right? But your next door neighbor, he could probably be studying for his next exam, right? And then his neighbor could be making a YouTube video and then his neighbor could be like working on a new business or something, right? Like it, the chain never ends. There's always someone who's working harder than you are. And I'm not telling you guys to just spend every minute of your 24 hour day just working because that's like an insanely boring life. But what I am trying to tell you guys is just use your 24 hours better than other people. We all have 24 hours in our day. It's up to us how we use them. It's as simple as that. Like for example, a good thing that I actually learned in college was to like study for 20 to 30 minutes in a row and then take a break for 10 minutes and then go back to studying. That way you don't have to like sit there like a zombie the whole time, right? And your brain, and your brain actually remembers a lot more that way. So that's what I'm saying, like don't spend all of your time just working on things. Obviously take time for yourself too, but just try using your 24 hours better than the next person. That's all I'm trying to tell you guys. Just plan your days better and don't like make up excuses for yourself like, oh, I don't have time to do this or I don't have time to do that because in reality, you're probably just lying to yourself and you're making up an excuse to actually make yourself feel better about being lazy. Um, the only way you truly just don't have time to do something that you want to do, like going to the gym or making a YouTube video or streaming or whatever, is if you truly don't sleep at all. Like you sleep zero hours a day because that way, yeah, you're using all 24 hours of your day efficiently, ideally. In reality, we all know that's just not the case at all. Like sometimes, yeah, we're just too tired when we come home. We want to like go to sleep. We want to watch Netflix. We want to play games. Um, trust me, I totally get it. I'm human. Like you had a long day. You don't want to do any more work, but you need to realize that when you're doing those things, right? Like when you're just watching Netflix or you're doing this or doing that, you're basically wasting hours that you could be using to help you become successful in the future. And I'm not saying that you can't watch Netflix, but make sure that you get all the work done in the day and then go watch Netflix or and then go play games and things like that. Here's a personal example for me, right? So like I used to spend like one to two hours every night before bed just watching Netflix in bed, right? And then one day I was like, Moz, why don't I just use this hour like working on my YouTube videos? So I started like coming up with video ideas during that hour. I'd like either work on videos, I'd edit, I'd record, things like that, right? Because in reality, you never know that that one hour that you spend working on a video like at 1 a.m. before bed could be the video that blows up your channel. So just make some sacrifices right now because in the end, if it pays off, you're going to be living the life that you always wanted to live. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope I gave you guys some ideas for how to balance school and YouTube this semester. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys do want a little bit of extra luck this semester, please do hit that like button and subscribe because we are on our way to 200,000 subscribers. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.